What's up? We're live. We're recording. Wednesday call. Um, so I'm going to get started. And one of the things I want to show you guys is when I first got into the industry, <clears throat> I used cold calling as um, my avenue in, right? I had no money. You guys know my story. I had no money. I was sleeping on a couch. I had no income, right? So I didn't have a lot of avenues um, to use. I didn't have direct mail as an avenue, right? I couldn't do PPC. I couldn't do some things that maybe I do now. So one thing I would use back then is I would cold call realtors and I would get onto Craigslist and start calling motivated sellers, you know, for sale by owners, um, landlords, you know, homes that were for rent. And I would call the person and say, hey, listen, you know, are you interested possibly in selling? And that was a strategy. And every single day, because it's free to call realtors, it's free to call uh, people on Craigslist. I would go to a coffee shop um, down the street and I would sit there and I would drink my coffee for a dollar twenty-five or whatever all day long because I didn't really have money to buy lunch. I had no money, right? I was broke, busted, and disgusted. And at the time, Starbucks would give you like free refills as long as you stayed in uh, the shop, right? Speaking of Starbucks. So I would use Craigslist a lot to find direct to sellers, right? Again, whether it's um, people trying to find a renter and they're landlords and you call them and you have a conversation just about, you know, hey, I'm actually an investor. I saw you're looking to rent this property. Um, can I ask you a question about if you have any interest in selling a property? And you hear a lot of no's and you hear a lot of no, I'm, you know, I've owned it for 30 years, whatever. Um, and then you also have people on Craigslist that are looking to sell their property as a um, for sale by owner, right? And so I would, every single day, I'd make these calls. Well, now there is an application that I'm going to share with you guys. And I'm going to take the camera off of me and I'm going to go on here. And if you guys have already heard of IFT or IFTT, if this, then that, um, awesome. If you're already using it, awesome. For those who maybe have never heard of it or um, heard of it and never used it, I'm actually going to show you how to use it and use it effectively because now it actually can do what used to. I have to do manually. Now it'll actually email you directly, and you can just check your emails. And every time you get an email, um, you can make those calls, right? So this is actually a really cool tool, and it can be used for a lot of different things. I'm just showing you how real estate investors can use it, but um, as I get off the camera and I share my screen, um, let's just go home first. This is if this then that. Let me know you guys can see my screen. Let me know you guys can see where I'm at. Again, it's if is how you're supposed to pronounce it. I-F-T-T-T, -T -T, if this then that. It is completely free, right? Um, and so you just go create an account, uh, and it will, uh, it's absolutely free. You can create an account, and there, again, when I say there's a lot of different things um, you can do, there's a lot of different things you can do. So I'm not gonna show you everything, right? Because what the concept of what this is, is if you're a programmer, if you've ever been a programmer, they talk a lot about if this, then that. That's how programmers work. Very similar. So for example, if we are to use this for Craigslist, a strategy I used to use, and you can use this for anything, right? I mean, literally, look at all these different things. Like you can use it for your calendar. You can use it for Facebook. You can use it for your phones. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, right? Um, and so, you know, you, you go in and, and if you ask it to do something, so you would click my applets. Now, they have their own applets. They have very commonly used applets, right? So if you just hit get started here, it again, it shows you what are commonly used. You can also use the search term, the search bar. So here are some commonly used apps that people will use if this, then that, right? So if the San Francisco Giants win a game, 
I want e I want an email from ESPN letting me know that, right? And there's all these different things. Again, I don't want to completely explain this. Um, you guys can go to YouTube to really understand the value of this. It's rather large. But if I'm using this as a real estate investor, I'm thinking Craigslist would be a great place to go. So classifieds, I want to look at all the classified services that they have. So if you scroll down here, get a notification whenever a new Craigslist post matches your search. I love that, right? Get an email whenever a new Craigslist post matches your search. Even better, right? Now I'm looking at emails because this is going to give me a notification in Craigslist. This is going to give me an email. Um, find what you're looking for on Craigslist, similar to the get an email. Get an email whenever a new Craigslist post matches your search. That's the same, right? These are the same. So, and there's a lot of different things you can do with classify ads, right? Job search for Craigslist. But what I would be using is get an email whenever a new Craigslist post matches your search. So you click on that and you want to turn it on. So get an email whenever a new Craigslist post matches your search. You want to find what you want quickly. Perfect for being first in line for competitive rental market. Just copy and paste your search from Craigslist in the field and you'll get an email for any new post that matches, right? So you wanna turn this on, boom. And then you wanna configure it, right? So receive a notification when the applet runs. Sure, why not turn that on? New post from search, copy and paste search results in the URL from classified. So you go over to Craigslist, and I just put this in now as I was preparing for this, but I would go into Craigslist, so let's just start from scratch. I would go real estate for sale, boom. Okay, and then put a search term in there, right? So FSBO could be a search term. All of these have the term for sale by owner in it, okay? All of these have the term of for sale by owner. So what you would do, see if you're looking at this link, you see here in gray, FSBO, I would take this link, I would copy the whole link, I would copy it, I'd go over here, paste in your search results, I would paste in that, I now would save, your applet is invalid. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. Let's close that. Save. Your applet is now active, okay? So now, for me, I'm gonna have to deactivate this because now I am gonna start receiving an email anytime someone posts into Craigslist for sale by owner in the real estate section, right? I have real estate, I have all of Phoenix housing real estate for sale with the term FSBO. Now, anytime someone comes in here and posts a new Craigslist ad with the term FSBO, I am now going to get an email. Okay. Um, so I'm not even certain. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Nothing yet. So you could do this for a bunch of different terms. You could put fire damage. Boom, you would take this. These are all fire damaged issues. Um, so, you know, look at the homes. Anytime someone posts there, you take the URL, click, you go back, it's on, check now. Um, I would go redo it again, okay? So I would go back to classifieds. I would get more, right? get a notification, get an email, I would do it all over again, right? Turn on, and boom, URL right here. Copy and paste this URL, new post, new search from Craigslist, save. Boom, your applet is now active. So now I have two different email leads that of two different lead types that are now gonna be emailed to me anytime someone puts in a new Craigslist listing with those terms. This is so genius. I, again, 
back when I started back in 2007 and I'm cold calling the whole time um, in 2008, this didn't exist. I didn't have this opportunity that I could actually go on um, and get these updates. Instead, I would have to go on and get these updates, right? Now I just go to my email, they email me an ad, I click on it, I call them, boom, I'm done. Now again, let me show you something else. Let's go to my applets. See, I have two different applets now. Well, let's say I want to create my own applet. Like, let's say I want to do something, um, something else, right? So let's create a new applet. If this, so I would click on the plus sign. So I would click uh, classifieds, right? So look at all these different apps that they use, right? Facebook, Dropbox, Gmail, YouTube, Evernote, Pocket, right? All this stuff. But again. Um, you might even want to use Facebook. You can use it for Facebook, right? If someone posts for sale by owner on Facebook, you can get those ads, right? I'm going to show you Craigslist specifically. So new post from search, okay? So now if this, again, I would, um, I would put that URL in here, right? Whatever I created, whatever I'm looking for, create a trigger, boom. So if this URL, which I showed you, I took from Craigslist right here. If this, then I want to get an email. Send me an email. This action will send an HTML-based email. Images and links are supported. Okay. Or if I want to do, let's see. Thought I saw Gmail on here. Um, send me a text message, right? Then you got to connect your phone. There's so many cool things, right? So then you connect your phone, right? Put in your phone number, send pin. Now all of a sudden you're getting text messages, not even emails. You're getting text messages every time someone puts in for this fire damage property in Craigslist. This is so cool. I mean, guys, this is like a game changer. It's going to save you so much money. And then you need to do what we teach you to do. Call them, say, hey, I just saw you put an ad on Craigslist. Are you interested in selling your property that I'm looking here on 123 Main Street? This simple app is so cool. You can get text messages. You can get emails. Um, you can connect so many different things, right? But let's just say I want to get an email. And then post title, new property, new property, or this is sending an email. I want to receive an email actually. I don't want to send it. Yeah. Send me an email, right? New property. So. new property fire damage and then the body can be anything whatever you want to you know put in here and then you create the action right create the action um, let's just do this boom Create action, review and finish. There's a problem with your applet. Unrecognizable ingredient. Go back. If a new post search from Craigslist, send an email to Justin Colby 55. You would finish. Boom. It's on. You're done. You made a new applet. So now I have these three applets. I just made these in front of you right now, and I'm going to start getting emails from these postings that happen on Craigslist. Um, guys, this is, I mean, I'm telling you now, it's crazy. It's crazy what you can do with these things. How do I turn these things off? See, now i got to go in and turn them off. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to start receiving all these uh, emails. Uh, let's turn this off. And let's turn the last one off. 
Come on, buddy. There you go. But guys, uh, if you go in here, I mean, again, I'm teaching you what you can do um, with this for as a real estate investor. But guys, you can set up so many different things on here, right? Like, let me just show you again. Um, stop webcam, show screen. You can go on here and literally do anything, right? Whether you're dealing with your Gmail, um, connect Gmail to auto save attachments, create reminders, get notifications, stay organized, and much more. These are common um, if this then that's that people are using. Um, save new email attachments from Google Drive. You know, if you get a new email attachment, it'll save it to Google Drive automatically. Um, automatically create a new reminder on your iPhone for emails you start in Gmail, right? These are commonly used. Tell Alexa to email you your shopping list that you've been talking to Alexa. Hey Alexa, I need to go get milk and eggs and bread. And then once you're done, you can actually have if this then that connect your Alexa and Amazon account and email you, right? So guys, I mean, there's just, it's limitless. There's so many cool things. But as a real estate investor starting your business, utilize this Craigslist sneaky trick, right? Um, and you guys will be able to do and speed up the process of, you know, what took me so long to do. Can you guys, there you go. Was that pretty cool information? I mean, this is, you know, it's been around for a little bit, but you, some of you may have heard of it, some of you may not. If this, then that is absolutely free. You can start getting these emails. Again, you can connect it to your phone you don't need to get an email. You can actually connect it to your phone and get text messages, right? Um, it is absolutely awesome. Right on. Yes, this is recorded and it will be put into the boardroom as well as our Real Estate Worldwide Facebook pages. Right on, Rafat. Right on, Dave. Right on. So very cool, free, easy. This is something you need to be using if you're not using right now. This is gonna just give you more and more leads and it's just a matter of time until one of those calls, right timing, right circumstance, someone says, yes, thank God you called. I need to sell my home. I'm tired of being a landlord or, you know, whatever, right? So make sure you are uh, doing it. Richard, great call last night, thank you. Uh, you're very welcome, Richard, that was awesome. The 50K code was a huge success. Um, many people took action and bought the 50K code about how to wholetail, so that was very, very cool. Um, so thank you for the compliment, Richard. Thanks for bringing it again, Dave says. You're welcome. This is an awesome ninja trick. You're very welcome, Lynn. Andrew, see you in a week. Yes, sir. Scale and escape, baby. Scale and escape. Grace, I appreciate the compliment. You're a rock star. All right, guys, that's it. See you next week. And for those of that will be at Scale and Escape, can't wait to see you. Peace.